Hello all and welcome to another episode of the Tokyo 2007 videos. So when we last left off, um, we were actually attending, I don't know if it's a ceremony or an actual wedding or what, but it was something like that. So um, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck's up with my hair today. My hair's like stuck like glue. It's just, I, I need a fucking haircut. Anyways, um, Anyways, so, yeah, so here we have, uh, I don't know, again, if this is the bride and groom, if this is just like a reenactment of some, you know, classical ceremony, I don't know. But uh, as we go on here, you see an exceedingly high number of people taking photos and videos, which is what leads me to believe that it is some sort of a ceremony, you know, like a, a historical reenactment type thing, performance, rather than an actual wedding. Because, I mean, you know, there's just tons and tons of people taking videos and photographs of this, so... And then, of course, you've got this entire lineup here, uh, my dad in the corner with our lovely, lovely camcorder. By the way, a uh, piece of advice, if you have the chance to buy a camcorder, I don't know if they even sell these anymore, don't buy one that is a mini DVD camcorder because they are terrible. Like, if you really think about the logistics of a mini DVD camcorder, about a camcorder that uses a CD or a DVD or a mini DVD or anything else like that, think about how easy it is to mess up a disc in a computer if anything happens to the computer and it gets slightly rocked from side to side or whatever. Now think about a camera, oh, oh, what's this? What's this over here? Like it, that camera corrupted probably like 60 to 70% of the data from this trip because of the very way it's made. Not to mention as a personal note on the Rock Band videos, probably like a full year's worth of videos I shot on this thing, there were so many runs that got destroyed, full combos, gold stars, everything, because I'd record them and my foot hitting the uh, bass pedal would shake the camera. I mean, just do not buy them. Terrible, terrible, terrible idea for a camera. But getting onto the actual thing here, you can see that there's just a boatload of like toys here. You got Winnie the Pooh right there. You got, uh, oh, I forget what the name of that kangaroo is in Winnie the Pooh or whatever. The, the not the mom one, but the their kid or whatever. Um, I think that's from that. I mean, you got like some panda there. You got just boatloads and boatloads of toys, man. So again, that's what makes me think this is a ceremony. Or it could just be two really, really rich, famous people having a wedding. I don't know, maybe these, you know, like the Donald Trump and Katy Perry or something like that of, you know, Japan. I don't know. Um, so, and then you've got thanks and good luck dolls and stuff like that. Uh, that's what makes me think it's more like a wedding. Because for a, a ceremony, that'd be kind of odd to have something saying, thanks and good luck, yeah, you know, good luck. It's, I don't really know. Um, I took a picture of this because I just thought this looked really cool. The uh, design here with like the white trim on all the uh, edges of everything, I think it's just really, really cool looking and so forth. Holy crap, my phone is not stopping. I'm gonna, hold on a second. Sorry for this interruption. I just don't want that thing to be going off every two seconds. Anyways, um, so yeah, so pretty cool stuff there. Um, I don't really know, you know, why people are just standing around looking at random stuff. Good scenic picture. Yeah. Now, this was pretty cool here. Um, I don't know the exact thing for the rituals here, but there's kind of like, you know how, I mean, this is a really terrible comparison, but you know how when you were in uh, probably grade school or something like that, and you had those like little ribbons you'd tie around the fence or whatever for like breast cancer awareness or for just general cancer awareness or whatever awareness and you time around the fence or whatever. This is sort of a similar thing, I believe, but not for like, you know, breast cancer awareness or anything like that, but more like prayers of people where they put them up on this board and then it's got like their wishes for the year and so forth or for a, you know, specific event. And as we get up here, you can see, oh, what well, says right there. <clears throat> okay, so uh, 500 yen a piece, five bucks a piece, you get these like, you know, little tablets and you put them up and then um, you put down your wishes and then etc. Um, they're done every day. Okay, so they're prayers for every day. Wow, okay. This is one of the things like, again, I'm not, 
Uh, a lot of the stuff I've said in this series, I'm like 99 to 100% sure on the way it works. This is one of them I didn't really get to research that much. So I'm a little bit, you know, not fully informed on this one. Interesting that they have Korean down here at the bottom, considering the uh, really shaky relationship that Japan and Korea have. But um, for an equivalent comparison, it'd be like if in America we had as signs up on things, you know, a bunch of stuff in like, you know, uh, I don't know, like Arabic or something like that, you know, considering the Middle East and the U.S. or, or uh, Korean even, you know, something like that, you know, considering North Korea and America currently going at it and stuff like that. Um, but you can see here <clears throat> that uh, this is Doraemon, obviously. It's a really popular uh, children's character, sort of like, um, God, I'm just terrible with the comparisons today. I don't know. Uh, I can't come up with anything. I can't come up with like a relevant children's character that would be equivalent to Doraemon, and I'm probably going to think of like 50 of them as soon as this video is done or something like that, and you guys probably want the comments anyways. But, yeah, really popular, you know, uh, children's cartoon anime there, stuff like that, you know, about a character that can basically have a, like, a, I think it's like a black hole or a bag or something like that they can pull almost anything out of. Isn't that kind of like Felix the Cat? Anyways, um, I love this one. I want to, everything going to be cool. For Ignite and Cleave, guys. I don't know if those are bands or groups or what. I don't even know. Something in, I believe somebody said this was like Swedish or Finnish or something like that in the chat once when I showed this uh, photo. But I don't know what that is, but I love the little uh, anime drawing they did there. Um, but yeah, something they're happy about. And then this guy has a bear here, and he's like, a 2006, I fuck shit up. 2007, I'll fuck more shit up. No, it's not really what it says. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the hell this says either. So, yeah, and this guy says something like, I wish for something in harmony. So, I mean, you can see there's boatloads of these up here. Absolute, like, shit tons. And this, of course, I had to get a picture of because it's a taiko drum. Now, a taiko drum is uh, obviously the drum you're using in Taiko no Tatsujin, which is a really popular rhythm game, but it originates from an actual form of drumming using these enormous drums, and they have varying sizes and so forth. But uh, why they have the little beads here on the side is because when you do taiko drumming, you're supposed to um, hit the actual drum, right? But then you hit it on the side here for like a clacking sound, which is also what you do in the arcade game. And, People playing like uh, drum sets, like in rock bands and stuff like that, do something similar on some songs where they'll uh, hit the side of the snare drum, the metal side of the snare drum, to make like a click click sound and whatever else. So you might hear that in some songs, but um, that's what uh, this is for. Is it's dragon taiko drum, and they are used in a lot of um, religious rituals and so forth because you know it's a very loud sounding booming drum that you know reverberates throughout the entire area. So obviously, you know, you want to give that epic feel if you're going to be doing something like religious so and then uh this is like the line of people following them which again makes me feel it's more of like an actual wedding than just a like performance i don't know um, miniature tory gate there that's kind of neat and then uh something here that i believe says Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's, that's the kanji for five, if I remember right. One, two, three, yeah. And then I believe this is seven, and that's three. Knowing me back then, I probably took this in confusion because I thought it said 573, which is the Konami uh, little secret code they have for a lot of their games. They've named their um, hardware system 573 and stuff like that. The full combo at the end of Max 300 is 573 on DDR. A lot of 573 references in their games <clears throat> because the numbers 573, when said phonetically in Japanese, are Gonami, which is similar, of course, to Konami. So, and uh, there's, there's one more piece to that I think that makes it sound even more like Konami or something like that but instead I fucked it up and it's 753 so it has no relation to that so yeah um, ritual cleans cleansing of hands and mouth really hard to read that but it's saying something like please cleanse your hands and mouth 
something. I can't read that. It's it's too washed out. Uh, pun. Um, koi fish in the pond. More koi fish in the pond. More koi fish in the pond. And more of the pond again in general. Actually, I would call that more like a small lake. It's a little bit big. And a little turtle. And, uh, oh yes, yeah, so this is outside of that shrine area. This whole area is... We had to walk through that uh, forest area more. Remember where we were at? That big forest area, we had to walk through that more to um, get to this area. Again, I don't know if this is like somebody's actual house. But I mean, a lot of people were walking around it, so... And so here we have something back on the bridge, the uh, Harajuku Bridge, where you've got uh, a woman with a sign saying, Free Hugs. And what does that say on the sign? I can't tell if that's a... I guess that would be a B-A... Bagu? Or Pagu? Or no, if there is none, then it's Hagu. Okay, that... The simplest answer is usually correct. So it's, yeah, so it's, uh, it's Hagu. So, hugs. So free hugs. And then he's got free hugs here, looking like he's from the 70s with his outfit in from his uh, sign which is pretty interesting. Um, so I believe this person over here also offered the same. They also offered the uh, free hugs thing. And um, yeah, so they've got the free hugs sign up also. And <clears throat> as a limo drives by, no, it's a truck. And then um, I don't know if this guy is really old or if that's a wig or not, but that looks like pretty awesome hair. I've always wanted to dye my hair silver. I think that'd be pretty cool if I had just like silver or purely white hair, just super duper white hair, something like that. Or, you know, I know it wouldn't be possible, but it'd be interesting if you could have, like, translucent or clear hair. Kind of like those um, Vietnamese noodles. You get, like, that Vietnamese noodle, uh, chicken noodle soup type thing you get sometimes, where the noodles are, like, super duper clear. It'd be interesting if you had hair like that, so, like, you could kind of see the light reflecting off it, but it'd be just straight clear. Um, so she's giving a hug. This guy's like, son of a bitch, I want one, one motherfuckers. This guy, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing here. He's a... Uh, Giving her a reverse hug here, grinding up on her ass, or he's grinding his ass up on her, so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> and now, if I can find it, if my friend still has a video up, if Andrew still has a video up, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna link this video because it's amazing. But basically, this was a like hardcore punk rock group just going ape shit right outside the Harajuku Bridge. I mean, they were like headbanging doing like death metal screams it was amazing and then the cops showed up and told them basically you can't do this shit because it's hard to see but there's a boom box like right here just blaring this shit out and i mean it's like like just going nuts and there's a crowd of like you know all these businessmen just standing around like like just stone faced they're just like what and then see here's all the people up on the bridge taking pictures and video of these people going fucking ape shit and there's the uh, view from the bridge and i believe that's uh somebody no, that's not the police officer. That's somebody, like, helping them pick up. Because, yeah, they clean up after they got blown away. And then, uh, yeah, they're still cleaning up their stuff and everything. So, pretty GG. Good shot of the city. It was really overcast that day. It was overcast almost the entire time we were there, which, of course, I loved. But my dad hated because, you know, he hates that kind of weather. But I fucking love that shit, so... And this is what we're going to get into next time. So uh, I hope you all do check out the next video because we're going to be talking about a lot of uh, shops and a lot of places that you can buy stuff in the Harajuku area, which has some extravagant things like a condom shop. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, be sure to check out the next video.